something happens to you when you're young, it's like being stabbed in the brain. My little boy on his first school bus today. The guy fucking steals your life. Be careful, son. Don't talk to anyone. Here comes this person who has power and control and comfort. Yeah, I want revenge. I want to see him punished. Don't talk to anyone. Well, that's the house. Whether the stranger lives in your own home or up the street. This man took him back down to the park and killed a duckling and said, this is what will happen to you uh, if you speak about Don't this. Don't talk to anyone. He told me about it. Then he swore me to secrecy. You know, he begged me not to tell anybody. But then he was suicidal. And I, you know, I didn't know what to say. Then he heard, be careful, little son. Don't you talk to any People don't think that sheriff's deputies have been molested. They're finding out that sexual predators are teachers, boy scout leaders, and it's not just a priest. Is this guy still out there somewhere? You know he's not the only child that this man's hurt. He hasn't gone after him yet. But I said, I want an hour. I said, I want an hour with him. In our culture, what happens is a lockdown of secrets. And it's one of the last things that our society is loath to bring out of the closet. But you know what? It's coming out. Will we know what has been done? If we don't talk to anyone. I remember being in school and I would say, is it happening to him or maybe it's happening to that kid? One of the first things that I learned in my life was not to tell anybody anything. I swear to God, I would never let anybody know. Never.